Hey guys, Grassman here, playing more Plants vs. Zombies. And I was playing this game a little, um, for, just for myself earlier, because I was like, you know what, I haven't played this game normally in quite a while. I guess now it actually counts. But I, I figure, oh hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through my own pace, do my own thing, just play through normally without talking or anything. Um, I, I got to like day level 8, because I was playing for an hour myself. Um, and yeah, so much for normally, I immediately started challenging myself, and I've gotten like, through most of daytime while only using six of the nine lanes. So I'm not allowed to use the back five lanes. I'm doing that challenge right now. Uh, let me know if you... So far, it's going pretty well. It was, like, one level, like, four or something was hard. Other than that, it's been fine. Um, let me know if you want to, like, see that. If you want to see that challenge in full at some point in this channel. It won't happen anytime soon, at least. But, yeah, I found... thought that was interesting because I was, like, playing handicap there. Um, that being said, we are also going to challenge ourselves today because we're just kind of doing whatever. Um, so today, in this, in this bit challenge... This like mid run challenge we're do doing now, um, and let me know if there's any other challenges you want to you want to like see mid run, see if we can do, um, or if I guess one of them could be like not using the last three lanes. Um, we are only going, we're not going to be allowed to play plans that are the same type next to each other, meaning we're going for at best a checkerboard pattern. Um, we could also outlaw diagonals. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see how it goes normally, and then we'll outlaw diagonals after because I assume it's going to be super easy. Okay, so. Is that all we take? Yeah. I think this is fine. Okay, well, this is gonna be hell. I'm just gonna, like, fuck it up so many times. Okay, so we, we, we're allowed to play them off diagonals for now. So that's our method for abusing this. Uh, there. So we can just inter- we can interlock the plants. We can weave them all together. Thank goodness puff shrooms don't like deteriorate like they do in PvZ2. That was such a bad change they added. It, it didn't make any sense. Oh jeez, the puff shrooms have been so weakened because they're like so m less strong. So I'm gonna start getting long ones in. But then I have to weave them into the next row of like where the fume shrooms would go. Ooh, that's a problem. I mean, can I I can't see the like this. Can pause? If that's sun, that's sun. Fumes go there, fumes go there. Normal puffs need to go behind where they are right now. That's gotta be a puff. Okay, we're going with backwards puffs rather than forwards. And it'll work, trust me. Oh god, it's already failing. This is a valid spot for puff. Oh, he's dead, damn it. This has already gone so badly. The puff goes there. Puffs need to go be diagonal to the sunshrooms. there. This is better based on the arrangements anyway. Let's get rid of you. Okay, well, it's not terrible so far. I need to get fume shrooms in here. We don't ever have, like, any fume shrooms, but other than that, we're fine. Ish. 
Your diagonalization's gone decently. Good, nice. It was a short level too. God, if we ban diagonals, it's just gonna be pure hell. Like, we'll need more plants. We won't be able to do just... It won't work to try and do just... Um, like, have three kinds of attack and plants. It won't be enough. This isn't good. Pile everything into that lane. And then eat that for money. Okay, um, how much was the next seed slot? If I go shop... He's not selling it yet. Because yeah, we bought the one for him, but wasn't the next like 5,000 only or something? Okay, um... We need that, we need this, and this, and this. Really want you... Need some form of something. You, I need like an extra attacking plant. No, we're not doing diagonal rules yet, so we're fine to not have it. Same as last time then. Okay, so there, there. It's a puff shroom. Go here. God, those graves are so in the way. It's not gonna be so uniform. It's fine because I can put puff from there. It's not gonna be so perfect and uniform where nothing works. Um, God, the puff shrooms are so weakened. I need a grave buster to make room for a puff shroom. I guess I can get scary shrooms in the back now, too. Grave bust that. Scary there. Puff there. Cut more of these guys. Okay, is there anywhere else I can put one right now? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one spot. Get this here. Probably want to get rid of the ones that are more in the way first. It's so hard to have two rows of anything, because everything needs to be sh shifted, like, forward one and backwards one. So, like, I think here the sunshrooms are done. But now these guys need to... Yeah, they go up to, like... 
they go up to a certain point here. I can't get more of those guys. In these. I can't get more of the... Maybe I just interlock fume shrooms for the entire time now. Because since it's a grid pattern... Like, if it's, if it's just scaredies in the back and fumes on... And, and if it's scaredy and fumes on one... And sun and... Sun and puff on the other... And everything should work. There's a grave there. So four is actually like the perfect amount of plants, because if we needed more, we'd have to share in weird ways. It's only going to get weird if we cut out diagonals then, because then we have to go like night's distance for everything. Outside right now, it's really it's really windy outside. There's been a lot of noise all day. Yep. Well, it's going good so far, actually. Having laced together walls is actually really strong, or at least it's not actively like weakening me, me too much. This is only just about going to be getting the two layers. There's two full layers of fume shrooms. I'll quickly eat, quickly eat that. Then two fruit fume shrooms were completely, completely ready. Here we go. Where are we put our hypno? Up here, I guess. I way overestimated the difficulty of this. No, oh, there we go. Okay, now we get the... Oh, hang on. Wait a minute, this is the office. Wait, this is just the office, huh? Wait a minute, is this an office card collected? Hang on. Okay, apparently it's a piece of shit. It's got like a 3.1 and it's an idol. It's an it's it's a cash idol game that's like a 3.1. Okay, are we doing a non-diagonal for level 10? This is gonna be hell. I guess here we go. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well oh no. Oh that's so many graves. Okay, I guess we're going diagonal rules. Good start. Oh, come on, really? Seriously? Game. They do- wait, those do damage? Here, 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 here. I put puffs opposite of fumes. Here, here, here. We 
We should get lots of ice in this one. Oh, shoot. I guess we're not going non-diagonal rules. Uh, we'll do that next time, then. Because I've already screwed up. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it next time, then. So, like... What? Starting in, like, unpool, I guess? Okay, we'll, we'll, so we'll, we'll do it starting next time on pool, excluding lily pads. Just because lily pads, like, they're weird enough anyway. So, like, we'll say we're allowed to do lily pads, but anything we plant on the lily pads has to be, like, non-diagonal. So it's all got to be night's distance from each other, basically. I believe there is actually, like, a night's distance that, like, tiles the grid, though. It's something with, like, four... With either... I think it's five. I think with nice distance, five, we can plant five different plants to tile the grid. I need something else to put in the back with puff rooms. Because I don't really want puff rooms that far back. I don't want to waste the doom rooms. Don't want to leave the craters all over either. I got another uh, record today. I got a 51 in Free Portland. And I'm going to be going for a 50. Because a 50 is definitely possible. Quite easily. So zombies finishing each other off almost with the Hypno Shroom. Followed by a freezing is enough to kill. We're not actually getting too many puff shrooms, we just have a lot of gaps. Only three graves left. We still don't have a ton of space. Maybe I put it, I should, I probably should have put the scarities, um, like, opposite of, put these on puff shroom ones. I should put the scarities, um, opposite, I should put the scarities with, the, with the puff shrooms. Giving, like, giving Puff Shroom's soul rain was a bit poor, was poor judgment. Hell no, you don't. Don't really want one of them there, and they don't work up higher. Okay. Apologies. Um, it's right there. I guess I don't just throw them up here. Well, I can put them here. Put them here, night's distance away. I got one here. It's getting really confusing as to where we can and can't place plants. And stop for a second. Too many of these guys. As long as they're like perpetually iced.
here. Here. I'm running out of ice, though. That's almost completely too close. Okay, final wave. We have a multiple, multitude of doom shrooms. A couple of ice. Freeze, and everyone died. There are a couple frozen ones who haven't walked onto the screen yet. How many atomic bombs do I have to detonate before you decide it's time to die? Fuck you. I didn't put two of the Doom Shrooms right next to each other at the end at any point there, did I? Let's you plant non-aquatic plants on top of it. Uh, yeah, so next time... We'll go with no diagonalization either, so we have to go, like, night's distance for everything. Um, which, it should be five plants to house the plane. So we'll need five plants plus two instant deaths. And one will have to be lily pads. So one instant death of the lily pad and five other things. Lily pads, we will say, won't, won't count. Um, which isn't usually how I do things. Normally the lily pads would count, but we'll ignore it for now. Um, yeah. And then maybe the time after that, we'll do, like, the no, no planting of the three back lanes and see what happens to that. That might be hard when Zombonies come, but we'll try it anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoyed my content, if you like and subscribe, let me know if there's any other challenge type stuff you'd like to see. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.